Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with another vlog. Welcome back to Christmas with Mr. Carrington. So I'm up in Leeds. I have just finished my last packed lunch of the year. Apologies about the noise. There's some guys digging the old pavement up just down there. But yeah, I'm in Leeds. I've just finished my last packed lunch of the year, which was very exciting and very festive. I shared some gift ideas that also give back to charities. And now it is time for me to head back to London. I'm just in front of the Christmas tree here. It's all looking very festive. So we're going to jump on the train and head back to London and when we get there I've got some things that I would like to show you. I want to do a bit of a DIY with some miniature bottles that I've got in mind. I might have a go at the giant bauble using that shelf that I found in the skip. You might remember that. So yeah, I fancy doing a little bit of crafting. Right, it's time to head back to London. Let's go. I love to have a browse of the books when I'm at the train station. It's a great way to see what new ones are out and also a great way to kill some time if you've got some time to wait before your train. Oh, I've heard this one's meant to be really good. Quite fancy reading this. I think Luke's been reading this one, so I'll ask him how he got on with it. But yeah, this much is true. Yeah, she's brilliant, isn't she? So very tempted by that one. I've actually read this one already, Good Vibes, Good Life. It's a really positive read. Um, and then this one's meant to be really good too, actually. I think Luke's been reading that one too. So have to ask him what he thought about that. How about this one, Surrounded by Idiots. <laughs> read this one too, Healing is the New High. I think I've just got time to grab myself a coffee, so I'm going to head over to Pret, use my subscription, I might get a little festive something. I really like their hot chocolate that they've got in here at the moment, also the gingerbread latte, it's very, very nice. So I've just made it onto the train, just heading out of Leeds now, and I absolutely love my time on the train. I feel like it's two hours that I just get to myself, so quite often I'll be doing lots of editing and just getting like lots of little jobs ticked off my list. I quite like to do my emails as well when I'm on the train, and quite often I like to have a little nap too. It reminds me of a film that I watched the other night on Sky Cinema called This Is Christmas, which is a Sky original, and I really enjoyed it. If you're in the mood for a really festive kind of rom style film. It's very cosy because it's sort of set on a train then I think this might be one that will be right up your street. So it says set in London during the busy Yuletide season. It follows Adam played by Alfred Enoch and Emma who's played by Kaya Scodelario on their busy daily commute from the picture perfect village of Langton to London and it goes into Liverpool Street Station which is one of my favourite stations as well. Oh two seconds. <laughs> and on their daily commute they meet the same passengers every single day. It's been been a while since I had that kind of commute but I do remember when I did commute into an office for a while seeing the same passengers and there were some ladies that all worked at John Lewis and I used to sometimes like listen to their conversations and see what they were up to and they were talking about different counts and things it was really interesting so rather than reading my newspaper I was actually listening to them it says when the train breaks down in the middle of the countryside everyone's Christmas celebrations are in serious danger of being derailed until Adam takes it upon himself to break the unspoken to of talking to strangers on the train and invites the whole carriage to hold their own Christmas party. So it's really interesting you get to meet all these different characters that are on the same daily commute. None of them talk to each other and eventually they all kind of start chatting. You find out more about their lives and I won't tell you whether the party is a success or not. You'll have to watch the film but I really enjoyed it. It was such a kind of cosy, festive, just really nice watch. So I highly recommend that one. As I say it's a Sky original and I will link the trailer to it in the description box and also this is my last review with Sky Cinema for this year it's been really brilliant working with them some highlights for me I think have been Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon and also I really enjoyed the most recent Scream film as well but it's been a really nice way to discover some new movies and if you're in the mood for some Christmas films if you're already a Sky customer iconic films like Elf and the Polar Express are available to all Sky customers via Sky Showcase so even if you're not a member of Sky Cinema you can watch some really brilliant Christmas films with Sky. I'm curious to know, if you take the train, do you ever chat to your fellow passengers or are you somebody that likes to keep themselves to themselves, headphones on, book out, that kind of vibe? Generally, I'm working, so I don't strike up conversations with people, but it is nice occasionally, especially if you've got a long journey, to have a little chat with somebody. Probably not on a daily commute in London, though. I think you'd have to be very brave to strike up a 
conversation on some of those trains when everyone's packed in and sweating because they've got their coat on still and it's raining outside and the windows have steamed up. You know the vibe if you commute. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you do strike up any conversations with your fellow passengers or if you keep yourself to yourself. I'll leave some more information about Sky Cinema and also the trailer to This Is Christmas in the description box so you can go over and have a little look at that. Right, I'm going to kick back and relax and enjoy the rest of my train journey back to London. I've got a few bits to do and I'm going to enjoy my coffee as well. I picked up a gingerbread decaf latte. Ooh, we're going into a tunnel. Right, I'll see you at the other side. got back to very festive looking King's Cross. It's time to jump in the taxi and head home. I'm back in time for playtime. <laughs> Hello Mittens! Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Mittens is such a sporty girl. She loves jumping. Don't you? And Pumpkin often just sits back and watches now. They keep swapping their roles. You just like to watch, don't you? What are you doing with that? I need to plug my lamps in with that, mate. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> How have you been? You gave me the loveliest kiss on the stairs when I came in. Didn't you? And Mittens is getting involved <laughs> with this toy. You love this one, don't you? Right, I think we'll get the candles lit. And it's time to chill out for the evening. I'm going to have a go at some DIYs though. So we'll um, get those bits together. I'm going to light this candle that was a gift from Kate McCabe. You might have seen in our thrifted gift exchange. This one smells really nice. It's really clovey. Oh, isn't it just the nicest feeling getting home after a long day, especially when travelling is involved? Um, but yeah, I'm not going to sit down on the sofa and I'm going to get straight up again so I can crack on with these DIYs, otherwise I'll end up nodding off. So let's get cracking. I've popped up to the loft to get a few bits and I just thought I'd quickly show you my jumper. Look, quite a few comments about this jumper. I showed it you in a previous video, but um, this is the first time that I've worn it today and it is so cosy and soft and comfortable. It's this kind of lilac purple colour with the black and white check on it. And yeah, I'm just really pleased with it. I've got it in a size L, so it's quite a sort of oversized fit with these sort of slouchy shoulders. And I guess this would be um, like a unisex jumper too. It's in the menswear section, but I'll link it in the description box in case any of you fancy getting one for yourself. The sort of thing that I would normally pick up, but I'm really pleased that I did. And yeah, I've worn it with white jeans and black boots today, but um, I think it would look really nice with some black jeans too. Yeah, very pleased with this. I'm sure I'll be getting a lot of wear out of it over the winter. So I've grabbed a few bits, I say a few bits, several crates <laughs> of Christmas stuff. Mr. Carrotton is back out this year. Do you remember this from last year? Aldi sent me this and I was so delighted with it. So he has to be out for the festive season. If you're not familiar with Aldi, it's a supermarket. It's one of the leading supermarkets here in the UK. I love Aldi. They sell some great stuff and they have a Christmas campaign. It's been on for a few years now with a character called Kevin the Carrot. Last year they very kindly made me my own version. So this is Mr. Carrotton and he's even got my shacket printed in fine detail and my beard and yeah, I think it's quite a good likeness. So pleased with him. So yeah, he's coming out for Christmas. Got the small tree here that will be going out soon. This is what I want to tackle this evening. The shelf that I found, I want to turn that into a bauble. And also I've got some bottles. Sometimes you'll get miniature bottles like this on an aeroplane or on a train. And I've been saving them for a DIY, which I'm going to get cracking on now. Right, I've loaded up the bits that I think I'm going to need for this one. So we'll take those downstairs and get going. So these are the bottles that I have collected and one of them's odd, but never mind. I want to take all the labels off these to begin with. So I'm going to soak them in some water to remove the labels. So I've just got these in some hot soapy water and I'm going to soak off the labels. Next up, pumpkin. 
<laughs> Pumpkin thinks this is food. This is snow confetti and I'm going to add that to the bottles. Pick this up usually at the pound store. You could add anything you like to these by the way, so you just be creative. Maybe some foliage in there might be quite nice, but I'm gonna go for snow. I'm just gonna use a funnel to add this to the bottles. It keeps getting stuck in the funnel, so I'm just using some scissors to shove it through. <laughs> Now that they're all full, I'm going to screw the lids on. Then you just need to poke your lights into the holes. So you want to drill these holes just bigger than the biggest part of the light. They've normally got like a slightly bigger tip on them. So make sure that your hole is just a bit larger than that, but nice and snug still. Then you won't need to glue them in place. And there we go. How sweet do they look? I am obsessed. I feel like I need to drink a few more gins on the train so we can add some more to this. <laughs> Come up to the loft again. These two love to explore up here. I don't let them up here normally because got a few plants up here that they're not meant to be around but while I'm up here I can keep an eye on them. And they love to explore don't you? What have you found there? Are you two going to help me or hinder me? <laughs> That's the question. Right so let's get cracking with this. So you may remember this shelf that I found. It was a dumpster dive find or a skip diving find and I'm going to try and transform this into a giant bauble but I don't want to destroy it because I think I'm going to just pop it out on the roof garden in the springtime and lots of you said you like the compass design so I think I will keep this as it is. So I'm going to start by taking the back off I think because I want to use it on the front. Are you helping? Okay that bends off up quite easily so I'll be able to take this off and pop it back on. Thank you mittens. That's right, we're going to take the back off. So hopefully this will just pop out. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to use some wrapping paper. I got this from Flying Tiger. You may have seen on my Instagram, I worked with them recently, which was such a delightful job to do because I absolutely love Flying Tiger. I did some gift wrapping hacks. So they're on my Instagram in case you missed it. Shared a few ideas how you can wrap your gifts, hopefully <laughs> better than this. What's going on? So we're going to go round that. Oh hello, <laughs> she's come to play. And I want to leave a bit of excess because we're going to fold down the sides of this. You, oh, no you do not. Go on. You do not want scissors by your paw or something. Right, so. That's that, that will do for now. Now I'm going to stick this onto here. And I'm just going to use some gaffer tape or some duct tape, I think you call it. We won't see this. The only thing to do is just make sure this is lined up. Now obviously, this is quite a unique piece, but I'm thinking you might have a circular tray in your home, or you may have something round. So this could give you some inspiration. You might just have something knocking about. So by all means, feel free to just get the idea from this. And this part, which I'm using as the top of the bauble, because I feel like that already looks like it. You can make this with a paper cup and then you can cut a hoop or you might have a small embroidery hoop. Get creative. You might even have some packaging that looks this kind of shape. So you could use anything and spray paint it. Right, so, oh, I should bend these bits back. Before I do them any damage. <laughs> it's chaos up here and I've got the worst filming angle ever but yeah we're still going. <laughs> so let's add our paper onto this. Some double-sided tape which doesn't feel very sticky. It's been a while since I did the DIYs. My double-sided tape is dry. Double-sided tape going on. Don't want to go mad, just enough to hold it in place. I am sweating, because I'm trying to do this quickly. 
for those of you that are watching along. And if you're still here, my goodness, give the video a thumbs up to let me know, <laughs> or let me know in the comments, because I appreciate you watching this long when um, I'm winging it on the DIYs. So we'll stick that on. Hopefully that's stuck. And then what I want to do is flip it over. I'm gonna cut a circle now, just eyeballing it. That's about the depth of the shelf itself. Ooh, they're gliding, don't you just love it when that happens? What we're gonna do is just make some slits up to the shelf, make it easy to fold these bits up. I might have to time that to you, you know, because I think we're gonna be here all night. And then using some sellotape, we're just gonna stick each of these bits around the back like this. Just hold it in place. And these will overlap each other, but don't worry. Okay, so I've gone round and taped it all. So as you can see, it's a little bit rough, but it doesn't matter, that's just the sides. Quite like the bobbly effect that gives it. And then I just need to trim this bit, which I'm nervous about. <laughs> Let's just try and score that so I can see where the line is. That's what it's done. Nice. Is it starting to look like a ball ball? <laughs> so, what would a ball ball have? I'm wondering, could this work? This fabric. I was wondering whether we go across, maybe do a stripe. This is a table runner from, not the dollar store, what is it? The uh, Euro shop. Got this in Germany. I've got some tartan fabric, this might be quite nice. Oh yeah, do we just go half? Can you tell I'm feeling indecisive this evening? <laughs> I think we'll do that, we'll go with that. Shall we commit to that? Oh, why am I like this? It's cause it's late. Yeah, let's do that. I can feel that some of you are saying, no! <laughs> double-sided going on. Double-sided tape is brilliant when you're wrapping presents too, because you can do similar things to what I'm doing here. If this looks anything like a ball ball, I will be as shocked as you will be. <laughs> and then I'm going to trim this around, and then I just want to gather what's left and tape that underneath. Right, that's all taped around, and so let's knock that off. So what I'm doing is starting with the two, what do you call them? The ends, measuring that length, and then with what's left, which I folded in half, you can kind of just keep doubling that back on itself. So you can kind of knot it around I'm not demonstrating this very well. What do we reckon? A bit double-sided? <laughs> there we go. And then I'm just wondering, oh, it looks cute, doesn't it? Do we put, I've cut this fabric into strips. I'm just thinking, just for fun, we'll tie a piece around here because a ball ball would have a little something to hang it up with, wouldn't it? And I just feel like this might just be a nice little touch, even though it's not gonna be in use. And just add something up there. Does it? We know it's there. <laughs> so if you wanted to hang up your giant ball ball, you could. But yeah, I think I'm finished. And I'm very pleased with that. It'll look quite nice propped up in the background. Right then, it is time for me and my giant bauble <laughs> to say goodbye. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here for brand new videos throughout December. I'm uploading a little bit more often, so do stay tuned. Hit the notification bell and that way you will never miss a video. If you have a go at something similar to this in your home with items that you might have already then do tag me in any pictures over on Instagram. Mine is Mr. Carrington or Mr. Carrington Home and I would love to see you over there. And also if you have a go at the bottles lights as well I'd love to see how you get on with those. But yeah thank you again to Sky Cinema for sponsoring today's video. I'll leave all of their information in the description box along with the trailer for This Is Christmas. Definitely worth a watch if you want to feel festive. And yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye. I just noticed the ribbon was starting to slip off. I think my dried up old <laughs> tape's doing its job. It's a bit dry so I'm gonna have to reinforce this. <laughs>